Hello everyone, I hope that you are doing well. Uh, in this video, we are going to learn how to insert a module to the Linux kernel. Imagine you want to uh, have some changes in some of your files. For example, you want to change one of the schedulers, you want to change one of the congestion control mechanisms, how we can uh, insert it after the modification to the Linux kernel. For example, imagine you want to have some changes on the Balia, which is, as you know, which is one of the uh, congestion control mechanisms uh, for MPTCP, how you are going to insert the module after having the changes. For example, uh, we are in the Linux and we are in the <coughs> MPTCP uh, folder. Uh, if you want to uh, have a look on the schedulers or congestion control mechanisms, they are on the net, on the MPTCP. Uh, for example, you can see MPTCP Balia is here, or you can find the others, for example, MPTCP Weighted Vegas. Imagine you want to have some changes, you want to uh, change some parameters in MPTCP Balia, then uh, insert it again to the Linux kernel to see the results. How we can do this? I'm going to show you some uh, a, a simple example, but then you can broad it, you can use it to change the uh, files and insert them to the Linux kernel. Uh, here, I have three files that I'm going to talk about them one by one. Uh, the first C file is my main file that I'm going to insert it to the uh, Linux kernel. Here, uh, we have a simple code uh, that we are going to insert it to Linux kernel and see the results. The second file is the make file, uh, which, is, which we are going to use it to make our module and insert that module to the Linux kernel. And I will talk about the insert file at the, at the end. First of all, uh, let's look at the C file. And uh, let's see uh, what it is. This is a simple Linux kernel level program. Uh, it is going to, simple, it is going to uh, add to parameters, to variables, then write it to Linux kernel and we want to see the result and we want to uh, be sure that it is working. The first lines are okay, uh, are fixed and in Balia, Olia or any other programs, uh, we need to have some files to be included. It is in the Linux kernel level file, so we have we should include module, kernel, key thread, shed and time. If you want to write a simple program for this, you should uh, include these files. I will uh, put all the codes in the description of the video so you can easily download it and uh, cut or copy or paste it and easily test it. Then uh, we are going to uh, have our main program, main function, uh, which is going to uh, define three variables. For example, P for keeping the result, Q for the first variable, it is going to be five. The second is uh, R, it is going to be six. And then uh, the sum of P and Q is going to be saved in P. The next code is print, K, print kernel. It is for printing a variable to the kernel of the Linux. So we use print kernel info to write uh, something to the kernel. For example, the result is, and it is going to write the integer variable p to the kernel. So until here, it is uh, not much to do. It is a simple C code. And okay, at the end, we are going to return zero to uh, uh, close our uh, main function. If you want, at the end, you can put another function for cleaning up the Linux and writing by and uh, you can see, okay, here it is going to, our code is going to be 
are going to finish. Um, it, it is not very compulsory to write, but if you want, you can write and see by which is written on the Linux kernel level. So, including some files, writing a simple C program, it can be any program. For example, imagine this program is for Balia. Uh, and because we want to see the results uh, written to the Linux kernel, we, run, we uh, write the result to the Linux kernel, and we finish our program. The most important part, uh, code here is the make file. This is the file that is going to make the necessary files and KO file that we needed to write to the Linux kernel. So first let's see what uh, there is in make file and analyze it. Okay, this file has some uh, standard codes. The first line is obg-m. Here you are going to write the name of your C file, your C code. Our file is named test, so we write test.o. This is the uh, uh, directory in your Linux, uh, which this part is shell name, uh, shell onamed dash r which is the name of your Linux kernel and the rest is fixed again I'm going to put them in the uh, description so you can easily copy and paste them and just you need to change the name here and write the name of your program so until here we have uh, make um, we have made and written the C code and we have uh, made the make file. The next step is going to run make command to create the necessary files. Okay. After uh, running this code, you can see that some files have been made, have been created. The most important file that we need is test. Dot cow. This is the module that we are going to enter to the Linux kernel. Uh, if you uh, want to insert this file, you should run sudo ins mod command, which is for importing the uh, module to the Linux kernel, and you should write the name of the module. Okay. If you want to be sure that it is imported to the Linux kernel, you can run lsmod command and we should search it and yes, we can see test is here and the module is imported to the Linux kernel along with other modules, for example, mptcp round robin and a lot of modules that we have. Now, if you want to see the, uh, if you remember we in the test file, uh, we printed the result to the Linux kernel. Now we want to see that one. We want to see, okay, is it successful? We want to see that whether it is successful or not. For seeing the, the messages of the Linux kernel, we use the message command. And if you want, and if you uh, if you look, you can see the 11, which is the result for 5, uh, plus uh, six and the by command. So the, the module has been imported successfully and the code and the variable has been written successfully. Now what if, if you want to change the variables in your code and insert them again, the module, create the module again and insert it to the Linux kernel. So, for example, uh, we want to change the R to 8, okay, then uh, again insert it to the Linux kernel. So we change the uh, variable, for example, let's change the other one to, for example, 5 to 7. Save it there. Again, we should run the make uh, command. And notice, if you want to uh, 
answer the module again it is going to say that file exists so before it we should uh, remove the module from the uh, kernel ls mode we see that it is not here anymore so first we should remove it then we should insert the module again okay and if you can see uh, the new result is here so before uh, and after we change the code and we want to insert the new module to the Linux kernel we should remove the previous module then we should insert the new module so until here what we have learned we have learned that okay uh, we, we have a code we want to run uh, we want to have some code some uh, kernel level codes uh, we use make file to insert it first we run the make command then we have some uh, files created we need ko file uh, we insert it to the linux kernel we can see the list of the modules in the linux kernel by using ls mode we can see the uh, printed kernel level messages by d message uh, i have Clicked it. Uh, these commands in insert bash file, so you can easily run them. And if you want, if it is, uh, for example, MPTCP such as Balia, you can uh, insert it easily. Imagine that you want to change the Balia and have some new uh, Linux kernel level uh, code and you name it Balia 1 after having the changes made just you need to run this bash code it is the same <coughs> but uh, doing the uh, commands in order first it is going to do the making it is going to make the files then if Previously, you have uh, inserted the Balia 1, which is the modified version of Balia, for example. It is going to remove it, then it is going to insert it. And after that, it is going to add it to TCP allowed congestion control. Uh, so you can use it as a new TCP and you can uh, set it as your default protocol and you can use it instead of, for example, Balia, Olia, Cubic, any TCPs that you have. I will uh, put this code in the description too, so you can easily copy and make your file and uh, run anything you want. So, to have the final conclusion, the purpose of the video was how to insert a code to the Linux kernel. Why we want this? Uh, procedure for example we want to change the scheduler or congestion control part of the MPTCP after changing we should uh, insert it to the Linux kernel and we set it as our protocol so we can see that the changes changed versions are working properly or not so we have a, a kernel level C file then we use make file to make the needed files then we insert the uh, ko file to the linux kernel and we can use it as uh, as we want all the commands uh, are uh, here in the insert uh, bash file which you can use easily